That is like a pristine condition, classic. It is a balmy minus 30 outside this morning again. Wonderful day to be alive, wonderful day to go and drive some trucks. People need their stuff even when it's cold. So we're gonna go bring it to them and hopefully not freeze along the way. Look at this guy just giving her. Just giving her. That's how you know it's cold when the trucks do that. My thermometer in here only says minus 26. I know the wind chill's at minus 35 right now, and it's only gonna get colder after the sun comes up. Which seems backwards, right? But remember I told you it's it's gonna be a clear sky today as far as I know. And when that happens all of the hot air gets sucked up into the upper atmosphere and we're left with the bone chilling frigid arctic air the polar vortex welcome to manitoba eh? well the morning went a lot smoother than i thought it would being uh, so cold out but everything went really well i mean it's, it's really fortunate that they're able to park these trucks indoors overnight that saves so many problems of getting a diesel truck started in the morning. No diesel wants to start in the winter, especially in the coldest part of winter like this. Oh wow, the sun is literally just coming over the horizon there on the left. Can't be picking that up? Wow, it just peeked over the horizon. That comes fast. Thanks. Especially your feet, you want to keep your feet dry. You don't want them to be too warm, you don't want them to start sweating, and you don't want your upper body to start sweating either, because then when the cold air does get in, it's way worse. So you want to keep yourself, try to keep yourself at that perfect temperature where you're not quite sweating or not sweating much, but also not freezing the nay nays off. It's a delicate balance. Okay. Oh, see, now the inside of this jacket is cold because I was sweating into it. So now I've got to zipper it up and let my body heat warm it up again. Whew! Hashtag Canadian life. Okay, that's much better, much better. You want to make sure it can breathe too, so whenever you can, when you're inside the truck, zip it down just a touch so that air can get in. They can dry out a little bit so that you're not overly cold next time you get out of the truck. Okay, I've gotten two deliveries done this morning already. I'm just rocking and rolling here. Woo! But you definitely do want to have a sweater along. Just in case your truck stops running. You want to have enough gear with you so that if the worst happens, your truck stops running in the middle of nowhere and you need to call for a tow truck or call for help, that you can stay warm until help gets there, which could be a couple of hours depending on where you are. So you gotta have warm mittens, uh, a shirt, a sweatshirt, a nice warm jacket, a toque, maybe something to cover your face, like a mask. You wanna make sure that uh, get into trouble that you're not going to get into worse trouble or you want to stay warm you want to stay alive that's the thing you, you want to stay alive we want to go home at the end of the day and crawl into our own bed yeah not a cloud in the sky all of our nice warm air that's been sitting closer to the ground is being sucked up into the upper atmosphere 
lovely. Lovely. But it's nothing we ain't nothing we haven't seen before. Oh yeah, there's the sun dogs around the sun already. You see that on both sides? Oh they're big. Oh, it's gonna get really cold. Once we get past these buildings, you'll see it. It looks like a rainbow that goes all the way around the sun, but you can definitely see it on both sides, on the right and the left. There it is on the right. The camera picking that up. They're called sun dogs. We talked about them about a week or so ago. They're a sign that cold weather is coming. Something about the light reflecting off the uh, cold crystals in the air, ice crystals in the air, something like that. There's a scientific reason for it, but all I know is that means cold, cold weather's coming. Or already here. Maine to 
Newfoundland, everything in between. I've been to every province of Canada and every territory except Nunavut. And I guess technically I haven't been to Labrador, but if I've been to Newfoundland, I think that counts, right? Take been to pretty much every U.S. state. I've seen it all. And I'm ready to move into the next chapter of life, which is what we're doing now. It's exactly the same thing. Without the mountains, I know. Continue I, on Notre Dame Avenue I wish we had more years. mountains here. can't have everything. I still get to do what I love. Driving trucks. And I gotta focus on what's more important right now in this part of my life. Whether or not I'll ever go back on the highway, I don't know. I don't have any plans on it right now, but... You never know what life will bring, you know? I really like where I'm at now. I like doing this. I like the people that I get to be around all day, every day, and talk to, and the people in charge, they're, they're very good people. And I really enjoy it, and I enjoy their company, and I enjoy being part of the team. I'm hoping it can last a long, long time. Because the next chapter of life will be uh, family, right? Raising family. We have finally gotten a hold of our fertility clinic again. After about a year, we finally got a hold of them again. And we have lined up another appointment for the second IUI. Continue on Kiwan Street for three kilometers. Things are looking up. I mean, hopefully we won't need the appointment, but I mean, we'll find out in a few weeks if we do. We'll take it from there. We've got this driver coming from the right. Driver in training. Been there. You know, you gotta hand it to those trainers that do that day after day after day, training new drivers. I don't think you had a green light, bud, but we're gonna let it go, okay? My light turned green and you're still in the intersection. Sometimes the lights turn green a little too early, too. before if I want to be a trainer, like work as a trainer, training new drivers, and really your, your heart's sort of got to be in it, and it's not that I don't want to help new drivers out, but I don't think I'm cut out to be a full-time trainer like that. That's... Takes a special kind of guy. Good thing we have them out there though, right? Otherwise, there'd be no trainers. We're starting to lose our sun again. It's been a busy day. These new lids are terrible. It spills everywhere. Have I said that yet? Tim Horton sold to some American and they changed the lids and they changed everything and now everything isn't nearly as good. Okay. So it is what it is. We're still hooked on it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Feels like it's been a really long day. I've done a lot of waiting today. Almost every dock I went to, I had to wait. At least, it felt like at least a half hour, which is different. Usually everything's ready by the time I get there, right? It's just one of those days I've just been, I, I sort of felt off. Just, it's not been a bad day, okay? Because it's still going to be a good day. But it was just, everything was just a little off. Everything took a little longer than it should have. 
It was a little colder than it should have been. People are driving just a little bit more aggressive, not using their signals. Dude, how hard is it just to use your signal so that I know what you're doing so that I don't hate you? It's one of those days, right? And these are the days that I talk about that you gotta make into a good day. So I might have to wait till I get home. But we're gonna make it a good day. Well, it wasn't a bad day. It wasn't a bad day at all. I still love what I do. Driving around, picking stuff up, delivering stuff. There's nothing that makes me... There's, there's no other work out there that would make me as happy. Just about had a guy just smoke me. Driving down the road like this, minding my own business. And he just turns right onto the road, doesn't even look. Doesn't even look. I was watching him, because I don't trust people, right? So I, I always watch them. I'm watching him in his, in his, doesn't even look this way, just turns right in front of traffic, coming at him at about 55 miles an hour, like 90 kilometers an hour. That's what I mean. You know, it's one of those days. I think everybody's sort of like, eh, it's a little cold, everybody just wants to go home. I get it. This guy obviously doesn't want to go home because he's doing about half the speed limit here. And I gotta make a right turn right away so it's not worth it to pass him. But all in all, even with everything that's been bugging me today, even with everything taking longer than it should have been, it was a good day. Definitely was. Let's enjoy our ride home now as the sun sets behind us. I like that, that I don't have to stare straight into it. A little bit earlier than yesterday. The sun is still up anyway. The days aren't getting longer that fast. Quickly grab some Fulio. Some go go juice. So the truck is ready for tomorrow. But they still haven't fixed these pumps. Apparently it's been like four weeks. No, I haven't fixed them yet. Maybe we should start placing bets in the comment section. How long do you think it's gonna take St. Anne to fix their pumps at the co-op car block? So we gotta park really close to this one pump here and then string it over. And it barely reaches, but it works. Be a lot easier if the satellite pump worked, but hey, whatever. Be thankful for what you got, right, Trucker Josh? Just be thankful. And I am thankful, you know? I'm very thankful for uh, being able to do what I love. This is a dream job. And be home every night. But uh, you guys already know that. I'm a happy man great team I get to work with too but it's still I want to I want to know what you think how long do you think it's gonna take them to fix their pumps here both of their satellite pumps are out of order think it's gonna be another week think it's gonna be another month what do you think let me know down below St. Anne co-op card lock we're gonna put the pressure on you <laughs> get your pumps fixed man this pump's out of order. That's the one that has the satellite pump as well, right? So we gotta use this one. And it reaches just barely though. Do this side first. And it's a little bit slower than the other pumps, but that's okay. Oh, this thing needs a wash, eh? Look at that. As soon as the roads aren't so messy anymore. One of these days when I get off a little earlier, I'll uh, take the pressure washer to this thing and get her all cleaned up again. It's so hard to keep it clean in the winter time. It's not like in the summertime when you wash it and it pretty much stays clean for weeks. 
Now it's like you wash it the very next morning. Not even the next day, the next morning. It's filthy again. So this truck needs a little bit of love and attention, and don't worry, I'm gonna figure out a way to give it just that. Uh, see, running down here, it's got those rust streaks that come from this mirror. What would you recommend I use to get that off? It's got it on the other side here as well. 133 liters. Less than we burnt yesterday. But yesterday we went all the way up to Harburg, which is about an hour north of Winnipeg yet. See if I can get back onto the highway here. Everybody's turning, everybody's turning. I hope you are making good use of your turn signals. Because if you're not, I am being misled into thinking you're turning. Almost forgot I had my head cam this whole day. Heh, almost didn't make use of that. I love this angle because you get a good view of what I'm looking at, right? I'll have to make more use of it tomorrow. I keep forgetting it in my pickup every day. get back on to number 12 uh, southbound here towards Steinbeck follow mr. Uh, flatbed over there I really like how this camera picks up the sunsets and the colors in the sky so well they did a really good job like for such a small little package a small little camera it really does quite amazing. For those of you who missed it the last couple times I've said uh, I use a Hero, uh, a GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition camera. It has great low light. It's just the stabilization. It has hyper smooth stabilization so it's really stable all day. But as soon as it gets into low lighting in the evening and at night it doesn't have very good stabilization at all. That's the one thing they could improve on. I know that they probably already released a new GoPro by now. Maybe they fixed that in that one. But uh, these cameras aren't cheap, so uh, I can't just go and buy a new one every year. <laughs> I'll just use this one until it dies. And then I have a backup one. Then I'll have to use that one until that one dies. So, <laughs> this will be the camera we use for a long time yet. No, no point in spending money into a new camera when this one works just fine. I just gotta be careful in low light. For those of you who care, those of you, some of you don't care what equipment I use. I don't know, not every vlogger does it, but I like to give the little uh, behind the scenes little background knowledge of, you know, the equipment I use and how I put the videos together. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's about 200 bucks a year, I believe, for the program. And uh, it works really awesome. I don't even touch the surface of what you can all do in that program. I'd really recommend it to anybody. This truck always seems so quiet. When I get into it after work. <laughs> Just slipping along, almost like an electric vehicle. When you get so used to the big truck noise, So apparently supper is ready and on the table already, which means I'm late. I didn't even know I was late. And then I got a picture sent to me of food on the table. I wish I was pulling into the driveway right now. <laughs> Britt is an amazing chef or cook, but I'm not just trying to suck up. She really makes great meals, much better than I ever could. <laughs> That is not one of my strengths, but it is definitely one of hers. I always appreciate when she makes food for me. It's a good end to a, a long day's work, you know? I'm a lucky guy. Wait, 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 not so fast. I gotta pick up milk on the way home. 
I don't want to show up. She asked me to pick up milk and she made supper. So if I show up without the milk, I don't think that would be the kind of brownie points I try for. That would be the reverse, probably. I'm just gonna swing in the good old 7-Eleven because I don't want to walk all the way into Walmart. This way I can park right up close because I'm lazy, it's been a long day. Wonderful, wonderful, right beside this fine person. Don't open your door and ding my truck. You better not, you better not. Man, this thing's dirty. Needs a wash, real bad. Oh boy, we got the goods. Happy wife, happy life, right? Shout out to Jordan, who's in 7-Eleven there right now. Didn't get a chance to ask if he wanted to be on YouTube or not. We we're in a bit of a rush in there. I got hot food waiting on the table for me, but he says he watches my videos and uh, said hi to me in there. First asked me if I was Charter Josh. <laughs> So shout out to you, Jordan. Hope you're having a good one. I'm finding more and more of you locals around here watching my videos. I don't know if you've always watched them when I was on the highway too, or if you just found them now that I'm around here more often. But almost every day, someone's like, hey, I like your videos. Super duper. <laughs> they probably think I'm weird. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay if the world knows I'm weird because I also know I'm weird. And that, like I've said before, is the determining factor so that I know I'm not crazy because crazy people don't know they're crazy. I definitely am aware. Crazy about that hot plate of food waiting for me. Woo! Oh, it smells so good in here. Quick, 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 take off the boots. Take off the boots. We gotta get inside. Okay, got the milk. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh my! Oh my! Oh boy! Look guys, I got milk. I got milk. Good for you, dear. You're the best. Look at that. <laughs> Diesel, oh, where is it? Where is it? Homemade chicken alfredo, you said? Mm -hmm. If I could just transfer that smell. Oh, yeah. Just imagine pure garlic with some butter. Oh, so good. <laughs> Guy at 7 Eleven recognized me just on the way home now. Oh, yeah? His name Jordan. Cool. Yeah. Kind of made my day. <laughs> what are you guys sniffing? What do you guys want? What do you want? You want pets? You want pets? Yeah. Yeah. Diesel too. Diesel too. 